Good morning, uh, it's Mitch Atkins here from South Thailand, currently with COVID, um, but I'll happily attempt to answer the question that Ken sent to me. How is mutual humility important to your witness as overseas, overseas field workers? Of course, the best conversation and demonstration of love is performed with humility, like Jesus performed. To be humble is a characteristic of Jesus that we should emulate all the time. However, on the mission field, when one is witnessing either to a Muslim or a Buddhist, it does not necessarily necessitate that that person will convey that humility uh, mutually back to us, even if we show humility to them first. However, humility on our part can certainly help soften points of disagreement during a, a conversation. But how to be humble when we are witnessing? I think if we seek to understand where the other person is coming from and their background, like what have they been through, one can relate the gospel more relevantly and with love than if one has no understanding of that person's past. For example, there are many different beliefs, even in, within the spectrum of Buddhism, from it being a pure philosophy to people worshipping spirits and idols, from animistic and superstitious beliefs. Within Islam, there are some differences, and each person's spiritual journey would have different experiences, spiritual experiences. For example, some would believe, some Muslims would believe in and have experienced um, interaction with spirits. So in that sense, sharing the power of Jesus over spirits, over evil spirits, but in a humble way, would be more relevant than to someone who is a Muslim or Buddhist who doesn't even believe in spirits. So I think we can show humility when we witness to other people by listening to them to understand them to be able to share the gospel in uh, a way that is relevant to them like Jesus did with the Samaritan woman.